Bone Crystal from Crystal Souls and Stuff on Instagram and today I wanted to share with you my experience at D-Stash Baltimore. So um, D-Stash Baltimore was an event that was put forth by Renee of, Missili, of the Missili's Pants blog. If you haven't heard from her, she's a long time blogger and um, she's on Instagram as well and if you... Um, if you like cashmere patterns, you'll notice that she's on um, she's in the, um, on some of the photographs of the latest swimsuit pattern that um, cashmere cashmere patterns had. So I follow Renee on Instagram as well as um, her blog, and she announced that she was having um, a D stash. So um, it was a yarn fabric and a sewing pattern D stash. So I was. I am in, and it's right. It was right here in Baltimore. I was like, I'm going. I signed up right away, and it was five dollars to attend, and it was on Sunday, June 24th, and it was held at Union Mill in Baltimore City. And so, um, I, what the way it was set up was that you had to, you came at noon, and you dropped off all of your items. You had to label all of your items. Um, with the yardage and the type of fabric that you thought it was and if you didn't know you could just put mystery and um, as well as your yarns and um, the number of patterns that you had and so the way it was set up was that they allowed um, different people they had they set it up into three groups according to how many items you had to drop off so of course I have a lot of stuff so I ended up in the number one group for the most donated items. I, I donated like 32 pieces of fabric, units of fabric, um, about 18 balls of yarn, and 62 sewing patterns. So um, I, I got to be in the first left group, and um, I made out like a bandit. So um, I'll show you the haul in a bit. But one of the most fun things was I got to meet a lot of the sewing bloggers and Instagram people that I follow um, here in the in social media. So I got to meet Carolyn of Diary of a Sewing Fanatic. And I'll leave a picture of us right here. And she was so nice. Um, when I saw her, I was like, wait a minute, that's Carolyn. So, um, and she has a wonderful blog. And she's been blogging for years. And she, um, right now, I know she's doing like a shirt dress um, challenge for herself and doing different shirt dresses. So, if you haven't checked her out, check out her blog as well as her Instagram uh, page. So, the next person that I met was um, Nadja of Wanna Be Sewing Something. And she brought, I think she won for having the most stuff. Um, so she she had she came and she parked right by the door and um, I saw her taking one box in at a time and I saw I said well let me help her out and so I started helping her out bringing out bringing back all her stuff so um, she brought all so many sewing patterns because a lot of people were there they were like I'm not getting anything I just want to drop off stuff so she didn't take home a whole lot of stuff so but she dropped off a lot of um, sewing patterns and fabric and um, again that's Nadja of Wanna Be Sewing Something and I'll leave a link to her um, blog and Instagram below and I also got to meet um, Renee of Miss Seely's Pants so that was really exciting because um, I've been following her for a while I found out about her blog because um, Christy at the uh, Bernina dealer where I bought my big sewing machine she said, have you ever heard of Miss Seely's Pants? And I was like, no. She said, um, she, she does a lot of garment sewing because a lot of people at the Bernina store, they do um, quilting and I don't really quilt. So she, she mentioned that I should follow Miss Seely's Pants and I've been following her for, for a while now. So I really love her blog. And um, here's a picture of me with her right here. So, um, so those are the uh, people that I met and um, some people Let's I get into the hall. So, during since I was in the number one group for um, for people who donated things, I got to go in and pick one item. You had seven minutes to look around, and I got to pick one item. And then after all three groups, according to how many units that they donated, after all three groups went through, we all got to go in. It was a free for all. You got to pick whatever you want. So the first thing that I got was this Patronus magazine that's this is what I got doing the seven minute minute challenge and they were like why don't you just get a pattern but um, I got this because of 
Karina of Lifting Pins and Needles just um, is always talking about this magazine and also um, Kathy Gad, she did a whole, um, she did a review of all the different sewing pattern magazines and Patronus is one of them that both of them, both of them had mentioned before. So, and I'll leave links to their channels before, but I loved, I was like, I have to get this. I was so excited when I saw this, this magazine. They had a couple of others and I didn't get a chance to get any more when I went back because I went back and I focused on fabric. But they, this is a really cool magazine. They have some cute patterns in it. Let me see, let me get closer. So these are, and this is issue, I believe, this is issue number 317. I can't tell what year it is. I was trying to figure it out. Um, but this is issue number 317. And one of my favorites, um, they have a night, a lot of nice little little pants patterns. So like, uh, let me see if I can find it. So they have a lot of pants. Like this dress, oh, let me look at this dress. This is a beautiful sundress. And then I was saying pants. <laughs> and these pants are so cute. These pants are super cute. And even though I don't speak fluent Spanish or really much Spanish at all, I did take some Spanish in school. I took like two years in high school and a year in college. So I can understand a few of the words, but I lost a, most of it because, I, you know, if you don't speak the language, you, you'll lose it pretty quickly. So um, I, I told Karina about it, and she said, if you need any help um, with, the, uh, with figuring out how to work the pattern, she said she would let me know and help me out. So I was like, yes, thank you so much. So um, that was the first thing I got. And then I'll tell, show you some of the other patterns that I've... I picked up so the first one is this Lugano I don't know if it's Lugano or Lugano Lug Lug Lugano jacket by Louise Hines and this is a really pretty jacket so I picked this one up this is an indie pattern and so the next thing that I picked up was new look 6517 and this is a current pattern on the on the shelves right now <laughs> and I picked it up for the pants because they have um, they have the wide side pockets and so I think I'll probably make the capris they're a lot like the ocean side but it doesn't the waistband doesn't have the drawstring in the front like the blank like the ocean side trousers so I picked this one up primarily for the pants and then the next one, which is so cute, it reminds me of the wanted, the wanted um, top. And this is a, it's a jersey knit pattern. It has the bolero sleeves instead of the um, the regular sleeves that the wanted has. This has like a similar squarish neckline, but it has bolero sleeves. And this is a Sandra Betzina pattern, and it's Vogue two nine eight zero. So I picked this up and it comes in short sleeves and long sleeves. And then the next one was another Sandra Betsina pattern. This cute jean jacket. Look how awesome this jacket is. It comes with snaps. I probably would put buttons, real buttons instead of snaps. I don't know, maybe I do snaps. But anyway, this is a cute jean jacket and that is Vogue 1036. It's a Sandra Betsina pattern and it has all the sizes in it to love about her patterns. And then the next one was this Donna Karen vest and top. So, and that is Vogue 1440. And the only thing is this one is the star set of size 14 and I'm generally a 12 in the bus. But I picked it up anyway because jacket you can make a little bit bigger and even and so since it's, it doesn't look like it's a lot of pieces well it might be a lot of pieces for the jacket but I could um I think it'd be fine you know just a size bigger 
for the um, Sisters of Best. And then I also picked up this pattern. This is Simplicity 3631. And I picked this up for the cape. It's an American Sewing Guild pattern. Look at that cape. The, the pleats up in here are just too cute. So I picked that up for the cape. Even though I have like two or three other cape patterns. I just thought this was so unique. Okay, so those are all the patterns that I picked up. And now let's go on to fabric. So for knits, I picked up this uh, teal and salmon pink ITY knit. And it still has the it still had the label from Fabric Mart on it. And that it that is two yards of this multi teal salmon pink multi watercolor fabric. And I can tell that's from Fabric Mart because that's the label, the kind of label that they use. So the next, um, the next knit that I picked up was this. Um, I think this one was from Fabric Mart too. And um, this other peach. It's like peach with blue flowers fabric. It's another ITY knit, and that is two and a half yards. Uh, this very pretty print and then the next thing the next next I had I bought, got a couple of rayon shallies so this first one is the it's peacock remember I told y'all I was looking for some peacock feather fabric so I see a dress in my future <laughs> with this it is so pretty the rayon shally and the next and that one was originally from Joanne's it says it's um, in the salvage the next up it received 1.25 of this rayon shally is black with these beautiful beautiful yellow flowers with the pink um, middle so it's a rayon shally and that's 1.25 yards of that. So I can make definitely make an Ogden cami or a different kind of Ogden cam and uh some kind of cami. So <laughs> then um so those are the two rayon shallies. Next I got this silk chiffon. Look at this. I've never worked with silk 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 chiffon before. Um, it's very sheer. So I don't know what I'll make with this. And it has these beautiful, has this beautiful, um, like floral and triangle prints. I'm trying to, it's like triangles into a floral pattern. So it's quite sheer. So I'm thinking like a kimono or something. I don't know. What do you think? But this is beautiful. So that's a silk chiffon. It's like two yards, two and a half yards of the silk chiffon. And I've heard it's very difficult to work with. So since I got it in the stash, I won't feel too bad if I mess it up. But I'm, I'm, I've been looking up strategies to deal with silk. So the next thing I got was two yards of this. So those are like the silky type fabrics. Oh, actually one more was this woven poly and I almost put this back <laughs> but Carolyn was like oh get that don't put that back it's so cute so um and I agree after looking at it even more it's just beautiful it has it's blue and my favorite color is blue and it has all these darker blue leaves all over it it's just it's just so pretty so and it's a woven polyester the only reason I was thinking about putting it back, and it's a crepe, I believe. So I'm trying to focus more on natural fa fa fabrics instead of um, synthetics, but this print is just too beautiful. So, that's a woven poly, and I believe that's two and a half yards of that. And then, um, here are some other wovens that I have that are mostly cottons. So, this one is a beautiful butterfly print fabric 
it's kind of like a batik look to it to me but it is they're butterflies so blue and like uh camo green butterfly print it's two yards two yards of this so i'll probably i'm thinking a shirt like a button down shirt with this so something like the um the grain line i think it's archer and i have a couple of other button down shirt patterns so i think that would work for that and then i have eight yards of this cotton linen blend eight yards so i can make i can make pants or dress or just so much with eight yards again it's only 45 width but i could get a lot of out of this can't go wrong with like a cotton linen blend i can even line you know a bodice or something like that I do a lot with that okay i'm back so um as i was saying this there's this cotton sear it's like a sear sucker i think or is it rayon shelly i'm not sure but it's blue and white stripe because they had a little question mark they, they weren't sure what it was but it feels to me like some kind of cotton rayon blend and um so that is four and a half yards of this and this i think i'm going to make a dress I don't know what type of dress I'm going to make. Um, there's a challenge on pattern review that's starting July 1st. You can't cut anything out to July 1st for stripes and polka dots. So I might use that um, for that challenge because I'm thinking about doing that, that challenge on patternreview.com. So again, that's the stripe woven. The next thing is this cotton sateen. Describe and it's this gray with yellow flowers. And I usually don't wear a whole lot of gray, but I really like. Next thing um, that I picked up was this cotton sateen. It's gray. It's a very lightweight cotton sateen, so you can do a lot with this. And it's like two and a half yards. It's pretty gray and white. I mean gray with white and yellow flowers so again this is a nice cotton sateen then the next thing I bought was this is I got was this like pretty like I don't know how you would describe it but it was like it's like a watercolor but with it reminds me of um like splash paint that's what it reminds me of um and it's this black and like this mustard gold to it and I think I can make a cute pencil skirt maybe with this or some kind of structured more structured type dress and it has all of these it has like a tie-dye look right with some of the blotches on it so this is a very beautiful like a beautiful fabric but some kind of bottoms or a dress um, I think a, just a, some kind of bottoms, like I'm thinking pants or a pencil skirt, something like that. And then also, I forgot about this is, she wasn't, the person who donated this wasn't sure what it was, but it's a pink and black check. And it, uh, she says it's a poly rayon, 56 inch, four yards. Yeah, so this is a very, and it's very drapey. It has a nice... Little, it has nice drape to it, so I'm thinking a cute little dress with this, and I can play with the the play going one way, up, on, you know, the bias part, and then the play going a different way on the on the skirt portion. So that's the next thing, and then this cotton, just a uh, plain cotton, but I really like the color. It's like a, it looks more red on camera, but it's. It's like burgundy, so it has a more of a berry tone in real life. I don't know if you can see the color, but it's three yards of just cotton. So I can make a shirt with this or a shirt dress with that. And then this nice mint green stripe. I don't think this, it might be a seersucker. I don't know not seriously it probably doesn't have any texture to it so but either way it's a cotton probably a shirting 
focus on the stripes there we go so it's a mint green and white shirting so i think i'm gonna make um that off sh uh, off shoulder um top with that this thing i picked up was this beautiful japanese um print cotton it's beautiful it has these pretty dragonflies on it see that dragonfly gorgeous navy blue too my favorite color and um she said this the person who donated this said it was a japanese japanese mekong fabrics cotton panel so but it's only a yard so i'm thinking either an onion cami or some kind of tank or something with the color block so this would be really pretty i just love this print and the final thing which is my favorite and best find was this beautiful cotton sateen stretch cotton sateen it has is white mostly white with blue flowers and then it fades to black so pretty that is so and i'll show you the other section well it's the same thing but it's white and then it fades to black so i'm picturing a maxi skirt or a princess seam dress where I, that way i can show off the the print or a two-part dress you know with a bodice and a in a bottom with a pleated pleated skirt but it might not be enough fabric to make the pleats so so those are what i'm thinking about like either like or even some like wide leg culottes and like um a tanky type top like something like like this this is the um simplicity 1094 i mentioned this before um in my may um i wore this during me may may and um this is 8094 i'm sorry simplicity 8094 that i'm wearing because it has the high low hang up it has it has the high low hem so this is the uh simplicity 8094 and it has a hollow pimp so, so a top like that and i could put the print like here and here that would be cute too so that's what i'm thinking for um this beautiful cotton sateen it's, it's i believe it's, it's what did she say yes three to four yards of this so that is my haul from d stash baltimore and um if you ever get a chance to come i don't know if she's doing it next year if she does i'm in so as long as my schedule you know allows i'm in and i'll be back um so thank you so much for watching i'll be i'll be sharing with you my whole big four pattern review pretty soon so i'm getting everything together i've been organizing my patterns more um i'd already had, had a little system um but i've tweaked it a little bit after looking at natural dames uh haul so those are uh, i'll be coming back with to you with a haul from i mean i'll show you all of my big four patterns and and then i'll do my indie patterns and as well as my um as my vintage patterns so those are some of the next videos that i want to i'm planning to do pretty soon as well as um my daughter is working on a dress so i wanted she wanted to uh show everybody how she made her dress so we'll, we're working on that now so hopefully we'll get that up pretty soon we started filming for that so thank you so much for watching i look forward to talking with you soon and i'll leave a couple more i'll show you some more pictures of the D stash Baltimore. Right. Um, I wanted to have a D stash because we are planning on moving house still in oh. Baltimore, but I need more space for my crafts. And I thought a good <laughs> first move was to D stash. And I thought, there's got to be other people who have stuff they're not used to. Clearly, it turns out there are. <laughs> so, a couple of things. Anything that's left over, which hopefully there isn't a lot left over, is going to get donated either to Micah 
American Sewing Guild is also here to pick up extra fabric to sell for charity projects they have. There's a place downtown that also takes fabric that they resell for beginning crafters. There are so many patterns. Hardly anybody takes patterns, so please dig through that, especially those of you who can fit in a vintage size 10, which is a 30 inch bus. Wow. <laughs> you have a fun? subscribe please hit the subscription box below I'll, I'll leave links to the patterns that are available um if i can find them um as well thank you so much for watching and take care bye <music>